Hey everybody, Chris from MLC. Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to talk about an attachment for the Electron Powder Coat Gun, which is the E-Gun C1, C2 Fast Corona Ring Attachment. I talked to uh, Monty at First and Finishing a little while back, and he agreed to send me the uh, Corona Ring Attachment for the gun to use and try out and uh, see what I thought of it, see how it helps the product. Now, my understanding, this is supposed to help out with the orange peel on the parts. I'm gonna put the part number for this down in the video description. Now, in the package, we get Corona, the ionizer unit. Now, how this looks onto the gun is it'll slide over the end, and there's a screw in the back of the gun we gotta take out, then use a supplied screw here. It screws to the back of the gun. All right, we're down here at the gun. And the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove the bottom screw off the housing. Now the Corona attachment comes with a supplied screw in the package. Okay, so we take the Corona attachment, we slide it over the end of the gun, then we come here to the back of the gun to the screw we moved, and you see how this has like a little boss right there. We're gonna slide that back, and we're gonna pocket that boss into the gun like so. Let's sort of rotate that up there by the body. We'll take the new supplied screw. And there we go. The Corona attachment is installed. Now we can still remove There we go. Now I got the fan spray nozzle on here. Now the first color we're gonna do here is we have some white to do and we have some fluorescent orange. I'm gonna get the parts prepped and we'll get to spraying some color. Now one more thing while the parts are heating up or getting preheated is there's one more thing that Monty sent to me. I'm gonna go get that right now and I'll be right back. All right, here's one other thing Monty sent me to try out. This is a gun light kit for the Electron gun. All right. So it's Electron C1, C2 gun light kit. And it comes with the light mount, the light, and a USB charging cable. I'll put the part numbers for all this down here in the description. Now Monty told me he was working on this when I first bought the gun. I always meant to get back a hold of him and talk to him about this. And we were talking about the Corona attachment and just talked about how the gun, how the system was working for me. He mentioned the light kit. Now what he said with the light kit was, I mean, this, this thing's bright. This has like where most of your lights have like a acrylic lens. This light actually has a glass lens and the bracket is 3D printed, fit onto the body of the Electron. Okay, it's like most little LED lights you can push pull the barrel out to tighten up the pattern or you can push it back in to spread out the light pattern so like i said complete transparency monty sent me the gun light kit and the chrome attachment free of charge to uh test out and try it doesn't really mess with the weight of the gun the gun is still comfortable now i know there is a gun coming that's going to have a light built into the back tail hook here for hanging the gun. I don't think it's out yet. I think it's coming this summer or maybe it's getting ready to be released. I know I know it's coming out soon. So it's got a nice heavy duty uh, 3D printed bracket. So it snaps right on to the body and it sort of captures it. It's, it's got a nice profile match to the body and it really gets on there. And then the light just snaps right on too. So that's it. That is the first and finishing part number 6096 Electron C1, C2 gun light kit. All right, these are the settings I'm gonna start with for the uh, spoilers. Simply because where I'm gonna go to first on these parts, this little valley here is has always been a problem child. The other gun I was using just, man, it, it you had to have these pots. Uh, sorry, can't talk. The other gun I was using, you really had to have these parts super hot and just buried in there 
and hope for the best. Now, with this gun, I have had zero problems with these parts getting inside there. Even before using this uh, Corona attachment. So we'll see how this goes. Let's turn on the light. I mean, the light works really well. So let's go ahead and the nice thing with the Electron, where I couldn't do it with the other gun, is it's never really a good idea to get your tip like right in there. With this, and this is the first time I've tried it with the Corona attachment, but you can get the tip right inside that V and we, we'll just run right up. Now normally, you'll get some like back ionization trying to be that close into the part, but there is literally none. And I mean, that's all electron. So let's go ahead and just do one pass straight up. All right, that one's complete, completely coated. Now we're going to do the same thing on the main blade. This is going to start from the top, or start, I'm going to start from the bottom and just go straight to the top. So you can see, we got complete coverage. Inside the valley. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll rip out the rest of these parts. Normally, I have a lot. I'd be starting to pull a lot of powder to my hand, but I've literally got nothing back here. The corona is really breaking that up back there. Look. 
it's a nice bright light. All right, we're gonna call those good. All right, so everything's in the oven. Let's get this bad boy closed up. So those are in there. I have minimal powder on my hand where before that was a thing. So let's look at, I don't know if you can make that out very well. It's got the slightest, but I, I can tell you that is a big difference from without. I mean, here is This is an air cleaner top for a semi I've done. You know, the sides, anything round looks absolutely amazing. Now we still have, you know, there's quite a bit. Of orange peel that is done without the Corona. So here's the rest of our bracket adjusters. Set them over there. The center wing, or center support. I mean, I wish you could see this uh, from here. I mean, it looks, that's probably the smoothest those have ever turned out. Especially with fluorescent orange. Fluorescent orange always seems to be weird for me. But that is probably some of the best looking parts. And that camera is really, <laughs> that fluorescent orange is really messing with the camera. And I mean, here's the main blade. So I don't know if you can make that out. That is night and day different. From what I'm used to seeing with fluorescent powder. And this is um, Prismatics Fluorescent Orange. Orange Glow, I believe is the color. Now it looks kind of, it's kind of neat in there amongst that illusion purple and that uh, squirrel gray. Well, okay. Yeah, I forgot to hit record <laughs> for doing the orange ones. You'll have that. I tend to do that more often than not. Well, the white ones are in the oven. I do quite a few white, so it's usually about the same thing. It's, it's They always turn out looking good, but not that flat. Well, for right now, I'm gonna put a one in the wind column for the uh, Corona attachment for the Electron. Definitely, from what I'm seeing so far, a worthwhile up. Now I asked Monty when we were talking about the Corona attachment, I'm like, is it really, you know, all that it's supposed to be cracked up to be? And he, he was, he was very honest about it. He told me, you know, he has some guys that absolutely love it, won't spray without it. And then some guys that absolutely hate it. This being my first experience with it. I mean, that is the best looking fluorescent orange I have ever sprayed. We'll see how the white turns out. And then the real test is I have to do some black we will use it with the black and I think that one will really really tell you the story with the Corona attachment. Okay, first impressions with the parts right out of the oven. 
Man, those are hot. And you can't really see it. Yeah, it's the same story as the orange. That laid flat. I think I'm still gonna have to mess with some settings, but man, that is a huge difference compared to what I normally see. Let's see if we can get the That doesn't really really tell you much but you can see I mean that's flat guys I wish it I wish I had a better camera so you could see this but that is wow I mean here let's uh there's just no good way to show you this. I mean, but there is complete coverage down the inside of that. And I'm gonna take you over here. For doing these parts, when I deal with that valley, those are the settings I use on these spoilers. I had preheated them, but then my son came over, we had to do a few things, and I got back to them. They were they were room temperature. Yeah. So there we go, 242 with the Krona attachment. And this is, the powder I'm using, is Columbia Coatings Signal White. Definitely worth looking into. The, the light attachment worked really well. Like I said, we go over here and get a better look at it here. They do a really good job. I mean, they got their first and finishing on it. It's a perfect fit. I mean, there's no weird gaps. And it just, it's a good looking part. But I need to thank Monty for sending me the Corona attachment for the Electron, as well as that light kit. Uh, light kit is just convenient, guys. And for 49 bucks, he's got his Electron site up and running. So I'm going to leave a link to the gun light. And I will also put the part number for the Corona attachment down in the description. I don't remember offhand how much the Corona attachment was, but I will put that, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the video. But actually I don't want to do that in case prices, you know, we all know how the economy is right now. If things jump or fall, I, I don't want to do that. So I'll just put the link to the Corona in the description. And I'll put the link to the gun light in the description. I really dig the gun light. We'll get to do more with the gun light here in the coming weeks. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see with the Electron. Like I said, I have a video coming up that I want to talk. I want to sit down and talk about the, the Electron since it's been a year of me owning it now. Maybe we'll do a live feed for that. Let, let me know what you think down in the comments below on that. So I'm really happy with the with that that is that is the best looking fluorescent part fluorescent orange part i have done that looks that just looks good all right guys if you haven't yet please leave me a like leave some comments down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already remember to hit the bell icon down in the corner so you know when i upload new content and i will see you in the next video